She's been reunited with her footballer husband Jamie after her dramatic stay in the Australian jungle. And it looks like Reba Kavardi, 35, is keen to let her hair down at Christmas, heading to her local Costco in Leicester with Jamie, 30, on Thursday for a wild shopping spree. The I'm a celebrity star and the pound 80 comma a week Leicester City striker snapped up some bargains. Emerging from the budget supermarket with two trolleys laden with goodies. Among their haul was a four feet wine glass, costing £60, which will no doubt take pride of place in the couple's pound 1.25 million Leicestershire mansion over the holidays. Jamie's trolley meanwhile contained two cases of cider as well as plenty of treats including Ferraro Rocher chocolates, a jar of pretzels and a huge bag of crisps. Wireless speakers were also on the list for the party season shopping trip. Meanwhile doting mum of four didn't forget the kids, as a £15 frozen money bank and a £20 Paw Patrol blanket was included in her trolley. While a huge box of baby wipes and nappies were also in the hall. Becky kept her outfit low-key for the last-minute stock up, keeping warm in a grey bobble hat and leather jacket. She matched her sportsman hubby in trainers and jeans. Despite reportedly earning £100,000 for her two-week stint on ITV's I'm a Celeb, not to mention her husband's Leicester City pay packet, Becky insists she's a bargain hunter at heart. The word wag is so ridiculous, she seethed to her I'm a Celeb campmates during her time in the jungle this month. I still shop in next, she said, as an example of her down-to-earth roots. I work. I earn my own money. I pay for my children's education with my own money, she continued. But I still get called gold digger. Only with him for his money but actually I am not what people perceive, she added. The Vardis aren't the only millionaire fans of budget chain Costco. Last month. Formula One heiress Tamara Ecclestone headed to her local branch on her reality show Tamara's World. Despite living in a £70 million Kensington home, the 33-year-old heiress daughter to F1 billionaire Bernie Ecclestone, who herself is thought to be worth £232 million, was seen shopping in Wembley's Costco where you can buy an array of goods from as little as £1. Accompanied by two personal assistants and two bodyguards, the mother of one was seen having a wild time, picking up an array of bargains from the wholesale store. Grabbing an array of cabbage patch dolls for just pound 25 the price of a single doll in most retail stores, she was seen excitedly picking up a Spurs book for husband of four years Jay Rutland, 36 and shelled pistachio nuts for her younger sister Petra. As the trolleys multiplied in numbers, her entourage was seen running around the excited heiress with around 10 trolleys, as she exclaimed, I'm like a kid in the candy store. And as an influx of shop workers were seen wheeling out her goods, which surely mounted into the thousands of pounds in worth, Tamara squealed, it's the most exciting thing that's happened to me in a long time. I'm done with Sloan Square I love going out in my leggings and trainers now. But her spree proved larger than expected, and her chauffeur-driven car was certainly not large enough to haul her goods home, with two further van journeys needed. 
Becky's appearance comes after the star vehemently denied claims she had bullied her fellow IMA celebrity campmate Tian Lee. Breaking down in tears, she sobbed as she insisted she hadn't targeted the broadcaster in scenes that aired of her jungle exit on IMA Celebrity's coming out show. The wag was slammed by fans who caught her sharing a covert handshake with Amir Khan and Dennis Wise after she was voted out. The coming out show captured the moments after the celebrities left the Australia outback, including their reaction to fans' comments about them. Rebecca emerged after the third vote off and the topic of Ian was the first on the agenda. Her father Carlos told her, you're right about Lane, I know what you mean. Rebecca replied, he can cut the mood in camp in seconds. It's a shame that he feels he has to be like that, but who knows what he's going through, it's hard to speculate. Shrugging, she looked away and added, I don't care anyway. When a phone call to her management team she'd been accused of ganging up against him, she was brought to tears in the arms of her father. Surprised, she said, you know what, I was the one that was being the most supportive of him. A bully. I've never been a bully in my whole entire life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.